Cause I can be your woman, 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 woman. Let me be your woman, woman. Thank you. Oh, hi everyone. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jules. T cars here too. What up, my peeps? Wait, I'm vibing out for a second. Okay. And appreciate it. You see, you can reciprocate. I don't know the words. She's tasty. <laughs> I'm sending you vibes first. 301. At 302, we're start, but we're sending, we're starting with good vibes. Hi, Christina. Let me be your woman. Let me be your woman. Woman, woman, woman. I can be your woman. I got a haircut, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's been years. Do you like it? They gave me some face framing. Alexa, pause. Nice. This is not an advertisement for Alexa, just so you know. But I got a haircut, guys. And that's not glow, that's a prism on the mirror. Although, maybe I am glowing. Is this lighting okay for you? Don't mind the cat stuff. I'm at my sister's. Um, oh my gosh, who's singing the janky song? Do not start this off with that. PTSD, girl. <laughs> oh, my hair looks good. Thank you. They did such a good job. And I cut off about 10 pounds. It was pretty cathartic. Because you know your hair holds energy too. So, <gasps> ah, I feel better. Hi, guys. Who's requesting me? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we have a lot. A lot to get into. There were so many questions, which I expected. However, I can only answer so many. And I'll do the best that I can. And then probably what I'm thinking is I'll do subscriptions. If there's people who are asking how to support me. I'm going to do subscriptions. And maybe I'll answer more of the questions in there. When you subscribe, like and subscribe. That's so cheesy. But like Loki, can you? Will you? Please? Okay. So I actually had a lot of people... Submit questions. Like I said, there were so many. So I'm going to go through theirs first. I mean, what am I mean first? I can't get through one. Maybe. I'm hoping I can get through like at least 20, but we'll see. Um, To being a trip to the Philippines. Okay, wait. I cannot. These comments are. I love. I got to scroll back, but I love you guys so much already for the energy. Oh, YouTube. I know. Mm. Okay. Shall we get started? Are we ready? I'm so happy you guys are here. First of all, let me just start off with that. Hello. Dial it back, Rubina. Hi, I am so grateful. Let me start off by saying that for the love and support, um, haters are always going to hate and aners are always going to hate. But the people who love me and get me, y'all are my people. I'm so grateful. I wasn't sure how it could go. All I knew was that I just wanted to be me on there. The best that I could do and the way that I could walk away from the game proud was to be me. And I think as much as you can in psychological warfare... In a game like that, I was very much me. So if you're here for that, I love and appreciate you so, so much. Um, okay, so I'm just really sitting in gratitude. I'm kind of, can I be honest with y'all? I was on a TV show. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I'm like, wait, I'm not grasping entirely that I was on a TV show. I did know at some point in my life, of course I was going to be on a reality show. I just know myself, and I thought, I, I'm sure I'll be on one. I did not think it'd be Big Brother, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I'm so, so grateful that it was that. And um, best cast ever. We kept saying that in the house. We were like, oh my god, we're the best. Aren't we the best? And obviously every cast is going to say that about themselves, but I really love our cast. What a dynamic, uh, unique, beautiful, and just genuine group of human, human beings who are... I mean, if there was ever a season I was going to be on, I think this is the one. So I'm so grateful. Um, oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Do you want to get into questions? Shall we get into questions now? I'm glowing because I'm in front of a window, girl. It's lighting. But also, it's joy. I think, um, damn, happiness looks good on us, ladies. Men too, but like ladies, you know what I'm saying. You look good. Look good, feel good. Feel good, look good. Ooh, I never did the reverse. Feel good, look good. That shit's real. Um, okay, questions. Let's go. To being a lover's in here. To being a lover, I love you. 
oh my gosh, that there's even a fan account? I'm not understanding. Um, oh my god. I'm reading some of these. <laughs> my face card doesn't decline. That's so nice. On behalf of my parents, I thank you. Okay, let's get into some questions. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. This is the first one. I know. Listen, I know what y'all are going to ask about. Okay, I know what everyone wants to ask about. And don't worry, we will get into that. But, <laughs> oh man, I did not think that was going to be such a big thing. Me being in the house, I did not know what was, what was going to be on, waiting on the other side of me, or on the other side of the house, which is apparently two Bina stands, and I didn't know. So, I am I am still trying to grasp that that's a thing. Like, first of all, y'all, I haven't been in a relationship in four years. Did not plan on getting in a relationship at all. I don't, there's, there's videos for sure of where I was like, I'm not going to get into showmans, blah, 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 couldn't be me. And then the universe said... Gotcha, bitch. Because <laughs> you know how the universe does that? Yeah. So let me start with that. <laughs> I really didn't think that was going to happen, but I'm... Rubina stand first. Thanks. Thank you. Basura HQ. Oh, my God. I'm dead. Basura, if you don't know, in Tagalog, is trash. Um, okay. Let's go into questions because, geez. Uh, here we go. You can receive one measurement, but you can't show them on screen. Wait, I can't read. You can. Mm. Oh, I'm badges are on. How do I turn badges off? Do I need badges? Oh my gosh, I'm new here. I'm just getting used to using a phone again. Oh my gosh, I won't share this, the question. How do I turn off badges? Guys, I'm new. Turn off badges. There we go. I turned them off. We don't need badges. Y'all can just subscribe in a little bit. Okay, nobody's late. We're just, we're just starting. Nobody's late. Y'all are ex exactly where you're supposed to be. See? See what I did there? Okay. Why? Oh, it won't let me ask the question. It won't let me add questions. What's going on? Hold on. I'm gonna... I'm... I... Oh, I could have had a moderator? Damn. I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is hilarious. Just read the question. Good court. Okay, you're right. Let's just get into it. You're right. Okay. I need a moderator, apparently. Here we go. Huh. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh, there's a where are you originally from? I'm from here. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm Filipino. I'm going to answer this the way that I think it should be answered. I'm Filipino. I'm proud Filipina. I actually did not grow up being proud of being Filipina. Um, I think it's really easy to want to assimilate. And that's what, as a first generation, your parents want for you. So I wasn't really proud. I dyed my hair blonde for like 10 years thinking that I wasn't attractive or pretty if I wasn't blonde with, you know, colorful eyes. So I just very recently, let me tell you, I had blonde hair for like eight years and then I had, oh, blue, turquoise hair. By the way, it looked more natural on me than blonde did. Somebody do the math on that. Um, and then I had red hair and then I finally went back to my natural to embrace my Filipina-ness. And, um, I'm so grateful that I did it before the show because I just wanted other Filipinas to feel seen by me because I didn't grow up seeing anyone like me. So, yeah, I'm Filipino, proud, Pinay, um, and it's actually Filipino American History Month right now. So I need to do content on that. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Um, oh, my gosh, there's so many questions. People are asking about Cambina content. I'm going to answer this one because <laughs> I did not realize Cambino was going to be a thing, but we totally, me and Cam, I love that guy. We cracked each other up. And I think because we both, we both already were content creators before, it was just easy to understand each other and get along. Um, and yo, Cam, I, I really, we like busted his chops a lot. Like, oh, Cam, you're on the show now because you played a veto. <laughs> but there's, Cam has so much personality, y'all. If you come here to... Say anything bad about Cam, just get out. Because that guy is freaking hilarious. And, and if you don't follow him, you really should. He's, uh, yeah. Cam being a con content is coming. Let me just say that. It is definitely coming. I mean, we've talked about it. And we need to. So, um, and I want to. Because we're funny. I, our friendship is super cool. And he's, you know, tight with Tucker. So, let me not talk about Tucker for a little bit. <laughs> I know that there's going to be a lot of questions about Tucker. Okay. So, that's why. We're going to more questions. Let's see. Oh, has Aquaphor sponsored you yet? No, I'm waiting. Somebody let Aquaphor know. 
my emotional support aqua four <laughs> that's butters got me through a lot of hard times i don't know why it became my crutch but it really did uh and then i broke the top and it was i felt sad you don't you only have so many things in there that make you feel comforted butters hi i think butters wants to say hi. do you guys want to say hi to butters real quick what kind of tequila do I want? Oh my god, Quinn, I'm gonna see Quinn tonight, guys. I'm so excited. I just read a question. Uh, let's do Casamigos. Añejo. I can't wait to see Quinn. Um, come here, come here, come here, Papa. Papa wants to say hi. Don't mind the chaos, okay? In the back and in the live. Come here, come here, Mama. Oh, this butter good girl. This is my butter's butt. Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. You guys say hi. They just wanna say hi, Papa. Say hi. Oh, there's your mamas. This is my bubba girl. Raphael, what up? Um, Tubina Warriors is here. I love you guys. This is Bubba. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Butters. Actually, I'll give you her government name. Her government name is Butterscotch. She goes by Butters, which means everyone thinks that she's a boy because of the South Park character. But we call her Butt Butt. Filipinos, I don't know if you know, like to do this thing where you say things twice. So when I growing up, my, one of my nicknames was Bin Bin. My sister's nickname was Tin Tin. And now we got Butt Butt. So that's what it is. Oh my gosh, Quinn! Casamigos, please. And I can't wait to see you. Oh my god, I'm hyped. Um, oh my god, Philly, what up? Okay, let's keep going. I wish the questions would show up. It looks so much cooler when the questions are up. And I, I need a moderator next time. Tupina Warriors or Tupina Lover, can you help me next time and be a moderator, please? Please and thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Um, why won't it let me? I don't like that. Okay, one question says, how do you feel about fans approaching you in public? Um, hello? I am still trying to grasp the idea that there are fans. I would be humbled and grateful to meet any of you. I welcome it, honestly. Obviously, you know boundaries time and a place like if i'm in the middle of an i don't picture myself arguing with anyone but if i'm in the middle of like you know another conversation being patient and kind and waiting yes but of course i want to take a picture of you of course i want to know you of course i want us to be friends i'm so so grateful for any support i'm just a little filipina rubina the filipina who uh <laughs> really cannot believe that this is my life right now i feel like, it makes sense, but I'm still... Girl, it's only been, like, what? 12 to... Maybe almost two weeks. Two weeks on Sunday, so... I'm still... I'm still grasping it all. And I'm still so humbled and grateful. <laughs> Bex, what up, girl? Okay, so... What else? With, there's so many questions. When will friends reunite again? The frenzy? Friends... Wait, this was our thing. We put our hands in and go, friends... <sighs> Because we actually don't sleep. We didn't sleep a lot when we were together. That's where the Z, 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 Z came from. I don't know if that came through, but that was why. Me and T-Core specifically never slept. I've never, actually, that is the most I hadn't slept in since my 20s. Back in my day. <laughs> no, for real, though. I went to, I don't think I went to bed earlier than 3 p.m. Anyway, the frenzy will reunite again. We're actually really trying to make plans for before the end of the year. I, we might do a New York trip. We all want to definitely hang out and um, make some content together and just be friends outside the house where we can fully be. Um, especially with like chemo, he held back a lot. There's outside chemo and then there was BB chemo and um, there's outside Rubina and then there was BB Rubina. So I can't wait for us all to do that. We're definitely gonna do a trip together. Trust and believe, I think that's what Leo would say, um, that we're definitely planning a trip. We we all are like, we need something to look forward to. So, um, you're so popular, this is hard. I'm not that popular. Popular. Okay, by the way, I just see it says World Series. Dodgers, baby. I just came out. I was wondering. I was like, Blue October, please let it be. And I had no idea. They don't tell you anything. But Dodgers, first game today. Let's go, Dodgers. Can you put a blue heart? Oh, hi. Um, I'm new here. Blue heart, if you're a Dodger fan somewhere down there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Nico, what up? I, okay, wait, let's see. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Oh, someone said you never slept, which is probably why you never won comps. Um, could be. Look, there's no way to throw shade at me because I own who I am. And um, yeah, I feel like sleep was probably a problem. But also the comps, y'all, let me just tell you. They are so much harder than they look on TV. 
you think, oh, I could do that. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Like, get in there, the nerves, the pressure, um, just that you're going up against so many people. It It's harder than it looks, but I'm, I'm proud of how I showed up as best as I could. Not even... There were people who were athletes. I'm not an athlete. I compete against nobody really I'm, I'm a you versus you girl you know like the only person i'm trying to compete with is a younger version of myself and honestly i think my younger version of myself is proud so that's that's what it is for me um let's keep answering questions yes don't worry we will get to the main questions it's only been oh it's been 16 minutes so maybe i should get to the main question soon okay oh my gosh what are there there's so many Oh, here's a good question. Someone asked, after your first few days in the house with Tucker, did you think anything would come out of it? Mm, let me think about this. No, no, not at all. Because for me, I'm super tunnel vision. You can ask my friends. It is really hard for me to find someone attractive in general, unless I know their personality and I know their heart and I know their brain, straight up. Um, I, yeah, I feel bad. I don't want to say I feel bad. Like, I just didn't see anyone as attractive. I was just like, oh, there's cool people in the house. But I wasn't like, ooh, you're hot. Ooh, you look good. Like, that's just not me. But then I really just talking to him. And that's, I think, what made it really nice in, a, in a, an experience I haven't had before. It was like, we were just like buddies, just like besties, friends in the house who just really got along, really got each other because he's... I think it helps that we're both in our 30s. Like, he's 31 now. He just turned, and I'm 35. But there's just, like, an immediate uh, understanding of your, I guess, experience and perception of the world. And although, I will say t is young, but she got an old soul. Um, but we just got along so well, so easily. And in that house, you're not supposed to be outward about your relationships and friendships. But for survival, I had to latch on to people who I love their energy and who got my energy who fully understood my energy so um no i did not expect this at all i didn't even want it you can look back on cbs uh on their big brother um instagram how i was like uh showman's no not me couldn't be me and ask any of my friends if i thought that i would ever and uh no i really didn't i think that's what makes it even more amazing it's, it's when you it's when you're not looking it's when you don't even want it. And then the universe slaps you in the face. And it was kind of, well, we couldn't deny it anymore. I tried really hard. I really tried to be like, no, don't do that. But it's Tucker. And like, I, let me be clear here. I would not get in a showman's with just anyone. It would have to be someone who is one of one, who is like super special. And I think actually understands my worth act for real. Like, I, I don't know if there's anyone who has cheered for me as loudly as Tucker, and I feel kind of shocked and grateful, of course, but just genuinely shocked that he feels the way he feels about me. Although, listen, bitch, I love myself. I think I'm dope, and I I think that's why it's like, for me, I always knew, I wasn't stressed about it. Look, I'm 35, I don't have kids, I'm not married. That is not what you're supposed to do or where you're supposed to be, but I don't believe in being behind in your life. I'm happy as I am. I've always been. Um, and I've worked so hard on that of the past four years that I've been single. I've been like, you know what? This is my time to invest in me. This is my time to focus on me. And when I focused on myself, that was the best version I could be. And I think it's because I was the best version of myself that this aligned finally without me trying um because when i say i didn't date i wasn't on dating apps i wasn't on anything i could not have cared less about finding someone um because i found myself you know i i really was just being my own best friend for the first time after being a relationship girly forever that i think because i was so able to be fully myself love myself enough to not feel like I need to change or be anything different than who I am that um I just really believe when you're being your U.S. you is when you attract the right people the right energy the right opportunities it's just so true um and that's like the biggest advice I could give a lot of people are asking advice as well on like how to be more confident and how to be you know proud of being in your 30s and it's like first of all did you know in the universe, there will only ever be one you. Yeah, yeah, okay. I know this is all, you know, 
allegedly and theoretically. But think about it. There will only ever be one you. Billions of people in the world, right? We might look the same. We might talk the same. But there is only one you. So shit, you're special. What the hell? Um, yeah, recognize that. Two, I feel like... What was I going to say? Oh, man. ADHD. I was saying something about something. Oh, about being proud to be in my 30s. Hello? Getting older is a privilege. I have a video where my sister's crying over t getting older, and I'm like, I'm sorry, would you rather be dead? Because the other option from getting older is dying or being dead, okay? So I think uh, the 30s is where it's just getting started. I just was getting started with being the most confident, um, most confident, self-assured, knowing my worth person in my 30s. So you can pay me to go back to my 20s. Bless them. Lessons learned. But the 30s, let me just tell you, it's where they're at. I see some people saying that they're, they're in their 30s are the best. 30s are the best. And honestly, can't wait for my 40s. I'm five years away. No, I'm not ashamed. I'm not scared. It's just going to be, I'm going to be even more badass than I already am. Hello? And you're just going to give, you know what? I'm going to give, you're just going to give less and less fucks. Can you imagine giving less fucks? That's like, other people's opinion about you, by the way, none of your business. And in going on Big Brother and in being on the internet and whatever, uh, you really have to realize and hunker down with the idea that no one is really ever going to understand the experience that you went through, understand who you really are. They're going to think they know you, but they don't. And the only person you need to worry about is you and how you feel about you and if you know yourself. So I don't recommend doing reality TV until you really know yourself in and out because uh, it'll be really easy to fall into wanting to defend yourself to people. But like, who would I got to defend myself to? I know who I am. You don't know who I am. You can think whatever you want to think. And I, I already know who I am and what I did and what I say. And I stand by all of it. So, you know, uh, let's get into another question. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys want more Tucker questions, I'm sure. And I w totally went on a tangent. Somebody asked, what's my favorite type of sunscreen? Ooh, wait. I know this is unrelated, but I have to I have to give a shout out. This is the bomb. It's our, I literally use this all season. Live Tinted. It's Hugard Tint. I pretty much just wanted to make sure I use sunscreen every day because that's a game changer for your skin. Yeah, if you want to... Asian, don't raisin, I will say. But if you really want to take care of your skin and look good, feel good, sunscreen. Sunscreen. Okay. Um, yeah, so Live Tinted. Shout out. It's almost done because I used it the whole season. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody wants to know my big three. Oh, let's go into my big three. I am... My son is an Aquarius. I was born in February, February 4th. Shout out to my fellow Aquariuses, Aquarians, Aquarii. I don't know what's the proper uh, grammar, grammar for that. <laughs> oh, Tikor's here. Wait, Tikor. I'm sorry. I'm not reading these comments in time. Um, I don't know if she's still here. But um, Big Sun. Oh, my God. ADHD is crazy. Uh, <laughs> my son is Aquarius. My moon is Capricorn. And... Wouldn't you know it? My rising is Leo. I'm, and if you know anything about astrology, that shit makes sense. I'm very presenting of Leo. So, yeah, that's me. Okay. What else? Let's see. More questions. Favorite type of sunscreen? I'm glad that I... Somebody asked, if you had to choose one, Pancit or Lumpia? Ooh. Oh, man. That's hard. If you don't know, pancit is like our like staple noodle dish in the Philippines. And then lumpia is our staple like egg roll dish. Oh, it's hard. I don't want to make a decision. Pancit or lumpia? Why not and? Pancit or lumpia. Okay, I'm going to go pancit. I'm going to go pancit because I like putting lemon on there. And I feel like it's a, I'm a bottomless pit with pancit. I'm a bottomless pit with pancit. I'm a bottomless pit with pancit. Okay, that's not the song that anyone asked for, but that's the song that you get. Would I do any more reality TV shows? People ask. I don't know if you heard me on live feeds, but I really thought that I would do Survivor before I did this. I really thought I would do Amazing Race before I did this. Um, yeah, I'm so down. I Here's the thing. I love a challenge. I love doing shit that scares me. In the month of Halloween, one year I did like just a whole do what scares you challenge. Just anything that scares you. It could be talking to a stranger or um, applying for a job or whatever. Small things. Um, or big things, going skydiving, which I did. I just love challenging myself because I love 
the idea of looking back on my life and being like, girl, you did that, even if I was scared. Um, Because if you can't beat fear, you got to do that shit scared, you know? Um, You just got to make your younger self and your future self proud. Uh, You could never regret doing something that not a lot of people could say that they did in their lifetime. So I love anything like that that makes me feel like I'm maximizing my time on this planet. You know, YOLO, YOLO, as we used to say. Um, Oh, the challenge. I don't know if the challenge would want me. Let's be real. (laughs) You think you have to be good at comps to go on the challenge. But you know what I was sad about? I'm going to be honest. I was so sad that there weren't more physical comps because I feel like that's where I would have maybe been able to do more. The wall. I feel like I did pretty good on the wall. The last girl standing. But we barely had any physical comps. So maybe I would do okay on the challenge. You know, I don't know. But I, I'd be down. They do some crazy shit on there. So, um, okay. Oh, here's another question. Uh, oh, man. Should we go into it? Okay. All right. Let's just get into it. The number one question asked. Oh, my gosh. Ben- Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Um, the number one question asked, obviously, is how are you and Tucker? Are you and Tucker still a thing? Are you and Tucker official? Where's Tabina? We want Tabina content. First of all, I think it's a little unfair. I'm going to be, I'm going to answer this very honestly because Tucker has had, you know, 45 days to, to become, be a human being again and and adjust to this. And like, he was able to watch and be aware of how I was feeling. Whereas I did not know. I was so unsure. And in order to protect myself, of course, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I had to kind of push down the feelings to survive in the game because it, it really, it was It was pretty heartbreaking when he left. I'm not going to lie. I, it felt like a breakup, even though I'm not saying that's what it was. It just felt, you know, there's only so many things in the house that give you like comfort and joy and you feel loved by. And he was one of those people. And it was really, really, really hard. Um, So I had to like push down my feelings. And so now I think I'm letting them come back. And I think when we hang out next, they're going to come back even more. And um, thank you for saying we don't have to talk about Tucker. Because I appreciate that. But obviously, we have... Being on Big Brother, I was all about women empowerment. All about, like, you know, you don't have to be in a relationship to be happy. I don't don't believe in society telling you that, like, oh, your life isn't complete. You're not going to have a successful or happy life if you're not married and have kids as a woman. So for me, it was like, oh, man, I came here to be my own person and now I'm falling into a showmance and i just didn't want it to be my my only thing you know because damn it i'm i'm my own thing but uh, we can be two things at the same time right two things can be true at the same time um but tucker i've never met anyone like tucker i've never met anyone who is such a fan of me i really believe he is i and i'm still trying to i i guess understand that that's a real thing um, but I feel so humbled and grateful. We FaceTime every day, if not multiple, multiple times a day. We are planning to hang out very soon because I want to, I really, really just want to hang out, me and him, one-on-one. Um, and I'm really, I'm really excited. Guys, it's been four years. I've not been in a relationship. And like for this to be the one, it is a little bit different. Let's be honest, because it's public. I did not anticipate being in a relationship, one, and two, it being so public. Um, But the support is so sweet and so cute. And literally when I watch videos, I'm like, whose life am I watching? Apparently mine. And it feels like a movie. And I feel so... I, I do love that guy. No matter what. I don't care what happens. I love that man so much. He's special one of a kind and um yeah i i i mean he's cute and i'm cute and we're cute and i'm trying to let that be something that i allow myself to understand and feel so yeah thanks guys for having my back you guys are the best so yeah about in regards to tucker more to come very soon and Obviously, he makes me smile. Okay. So, and it's been a while since any man has made me smile. So, except for my dad. That doesn't count. But, yeah, I feel excited. And um, I get butterflies a little bit. And I get weird. And it, um, 
yeah, I... <laughs> Ew. Bye. Anyway, moving on to another question. Yes, Tucker is for now. I don't want to say for now. That doesn't sound nice either. For now, just understand that we are, of course, going to see where it goes. You know? Y'all, just subscribe and you'll probably get more of the content or more of the questions you're asking for. Ugh. So, okay. I'm going to keep going. I wish I could read all the comments. I wish I had a moderator. I don't know what's happening. There's so many. Somebody asked, would you do BB again if asked? Um, I would need, like, at least a year or two off. 90 days? 90 days? I missed a quarter of the year. I went in. It was summer. I came out. It was fall. Hello? Um... I love, there's so many people who are on the show that are like, I would totally do it again. I would need a little bit of a break. I, hello, mental health? Let me get that back. I need to go on vacation. And Tucker needs to take me on vacation. Hey, hey, can you guys go, you know what? Tucker does this in his lives. Can y'all tell Tucker uh, to plan our vacation? Because uh, we need that. I need that. And he said, y'all heard when he said that, right? Yeah, we're going to go travel together. And I think that's what I'm most excited for. I, I already love traveling. I've solo traveled and I, I, traveling is something I make sure I do at least once or twice a year for my soul. If you don't travel, you need to. It'll give you something you didn't know you needed. Um, but somebody tell Tucker that I'm ready and that we can plan a trip. And um, I know y'all got... Oh, we're bullying that man. Hell yeah, I love you guys so much. Oh, yes, don't worry. We are planning to go live together soon. But I'm going to put up a post first. We want to do a collab post. So we can settle everyone down, children. Um, and I love when you guys call us mom and dad. I'm like, it just cracks me up because I would have never pictured that being something I'd be called. I love mother, though. Mother I'm here for, but mom and dad is hilarious. Um, oh, yeah, I know he said to tell me to come to NYC. Okay, but uh, can you tell him that his girl needs a vacation and we both deserve it and... I want to leave this place. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my gosh, you guys are tagging him. I don't know if he'll see that. That's hilarious, though. I love you guys. I can't read all the all the comments while reading the questions, so I'm just going to answer more questions if that's okay. Um, let's see. Mm, what did I do? I already asked that or answered that. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm skipping over some questions because we've answered some. Biggest thing you've learned about yourself since leaving Big Brother? Uh, that I can do hard things? I already knew I could. And listen, a lot of people are going to have a lot to say about, you know, your game. My game. This is what I'm saying. Like, if you go on a show like that, people are going to have a lot to say about what you should have done, what you shouldn't have done. Um, you know, how you could have done better, what you did that was the worst. And for me, uh, like, how can you do a good job? How can you do, you know, the best job at something you've never done before? You know, how, how can you play something perfectly? Although Chelsea did. Damn, I'll give her that. But for me, I'm, I'm, I own who I am. And I did the best that I could with the information I had and given the circumstances. Because really, at some point in there, you're like, let me just survive. Let me survive. To have no music, no reading, no writing, no none of the things that you feel supported by in your regular life that make you feel like yourself. Um you're stripped of all those things and so it takes so much mental fortitude to to just continue in there it's it, especially in an environment where it's built to break let's be honest it's built to break it's a call to pressure cooker for a reason and yeah i feel like i learned that i really can do anything bitch damn after doing big brother i really feel low-key invincible i'm like what can't i do now I feel like I could do it all. Survivor, sign me up because I think it would be easier compared to this. High key. Not even going to lie. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like for me, I learned that, damn bitch, you can do it all. You know? Um, Let's keep going with questions. Okay, wait. You guys tell me. I, you guys have so many good comments in here and I'm, I can't read. I can't read them all, but I'm reading the questions that people submitted. Do you want me to jump onto questions in the chat instead? Let me know. Oh, yes. Of course, I'm going to visit Kimo in Hawaii. We're going to do a frenzy trip to Hawaii. That's the game plan. Honestly, the frenzy are thinking we're going to go to each of each other's places and and hang out there. Of course, <laughs> Um. somebody just asked, have you watched it back? 
I haven't watched none of it. And I think that's why I'm having such a hard time, truly, with understanding what my person, like how people perceive me, if why I have fans, if I have fans, not if, don't say if, bitch, you do. And, and there's a reason and you're cool. Okay. Anyway, I think I'm just not understanding what was shared or showed yet. And so I don't know anything about the season except that I lived it. So I needed a little bit of a break before I watch it. I think I'm going to watch it in 2025, 2025. And me and Tikor and Kimo kind of want to watch a few of the episodes together. So, you know, I didn't watch any. Zero episodes. I'm being so honest. I've watched none of it. I've also, it's only been almost two weeks. So I've just been high key trying to take care of my mental health. First thing I did, I got my nails done. Hello? Are these hot? I feel already way more confident by having my nails done. I got a, I got gel X. I got a pedicure. Obviously I got a haircut and guess what else I got? A massage. Yeah. Treat yourself, bitch. After an experience like that, you deserve all the things. And honestly, not even that experience. Ladies, listen up, treat yourself. You deserve it. Who else is going to take care of you except for you? And even if you're in a relationship, you still got to prioritize you too. So get your nails done, get your hair did, get a massage, anything that makes you feel um, good, duh. Or even a meal. I'm all about that. Oh my gosh, Jake! What up, Jake? I miss you. You're in San Francisco now. Dang it. I didn't even get to see you. Um, yes, I went to Chapman University. Did I graduate? <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. Um, I'm going to answer more questions, though. Oh my gosh, this is 37 minutes already? Y'all have been here for 37 minutes? Are y'all good? I need a water. Do you? Oh, this is empty. I need water. I should have brought water. Next time. Can we do this in a more formal environment, maybe? My cousin's here! Zach! Zach's here! Hi! Back to my cousin in the Philippines, y'all. He's here! I, didn't, I gotta say hi to him. Um, somebody said I sound like Rico Nasty? Cool. Wait! I met Rico Nasty one time at an Urban Decay event. Um, she's nasty. But, like, you know, the good nasty, the good nasty. Um, let's see. Go get water. I know I should get water, but it's so far and I don't want to leave you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm attached. Okay, let's see. What's my in and out order? That's a great question. My in and out order. It's changed over the years. I used to be a four by four girl. I know. Listen, you wouldn't believe nobody believes me when I say I like to eat. I've always been an eater. At one point in my life, I could eat two Chipotle burritos in one sitting. Yes, but my in and out order currently depending on let's go two ways sometimes i'll just get a grilled cheese with uh chopped chilies and get it animal style um and you can also do a whole grilled onion in there but if i'm feeling like you know screw it i do want to eat some meat i'll get a hamburger animal style chopped chilies so i'm flexitarian let me be clear some people are like are you vegan or what i'm i call it flexitarian i lean more towards like veggies and pro like you know veg plant-based i care about my health my family specifically my dad had a stroke my mom had a stroke and a brain aneurysm i care about my health a lot um i don't know if that showed in the show at all probably didn't but that was also hard it was like not having any things i normally i lived off of avocados in the house for real to be honest i think avocados eggs and um yogurt and berries but oh you guys don't know what animal style is oh we got a lot to talk about but we'll we'll talk about that a different time <laughs> what okay Anyway, yeah. Oh, and obviously I'm going to get french fries with extra spread. And if you clown on their fries, let me just say this. in and out where you at? Sorry that they're fresh. So the best way to eat them is right away. The reason that they maybe don't taste as good to use because they don't have all the preservatives in there. So they're only good fresh. And I understand. I, I understand the sentiment of you guys being like, oh, their fries suck. But they're actually really good. But you just have to eat it right away. Okay? So that's my in and out order for now. Um, let's see. Somebody said, can I be invited to the wedding? Um, we're going to skip over that for now. <laughs> oh, my God. There's so many Tucker questions. How are you handling being long distance with Tucker so far? Um, you know, because I'm still adjusting to real life, I think it's actually okay for now. And I've just been, I can barely multitask. I used to be the ultimate multitasker. And now I'm just like, what's a phone? How do I reply? Emails? DMs? Oh, wait, I have responsibilities. So I think it's easier right now because I'm still adjusting. But uh, I do miss him and I do want to hang out with him. And um, yeah, I feel 
I, I've never done long distance before. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not going to not try, you know? Um, and I think we'll probably be visiting each other a lot. So, and I also, let me be honest here. Because I'm such an independent girly, and I think he's a pretty independent guy, I think it actually is kind of best case scenario now that we are long distance so that we can focus on what we need to focus. And then when we're together, we can fully be together. And for me especially, because I love so hard in relationships before, I would just like give myself fully and not even take care of myself and totally put all my priorities on the back burner. So I want to be different about my relationships now. I want this to work potentially. So I think it's actually healthier that we are long distance for now. For now, okay, yeah, I said for now. So everybody, relax. It's I'm not committing to anything, and I'm also not not committing to anything, okay? Um, biggest adjustment. What's the biggest adjustment since leaving the house? Oh, man. Biggest adjustment? <sighs> making decisions. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's making everyday decisions. I went to the grocery store for the first time. Oh, it was Target. We went to Target. Chemo, me, and Tucker went to Target to look for... I can't remember what. Oh, we were looking for costumes for one of his birthday parties. I was so overwhelmed. I was dragging my feet just like a newborn baby trying to absorb the world. Somebody should have pushed me in a cart because that's what I needed. Because I was just looking at everything and not understanding what I was looking at. So we were so removed from having to make everyday decisions. Like at all. We really just waited for them to tell us what we're doing next. And having to readjust to making decisions all the time especially even deciding what kind of water i want like do you know how hard it is i was like well which one do i want this one's purified but this one's in the glass bottle this one looks has electrolytes but this one's natural like that's where my brain is at i'm i'm struggling with just being an adult again <laughs> oh save this live yes i'll save it it's already around 42 minutes oh my gosh okay should i wrap this up y'all Oh my gosh. Or just go the full hour. Huh? Maybe go the full hour? Maybe. Oh my god, you just got here, but I love you. Okay, we'll go maybe the full hour. I haven't even been able to read any of the comments. I really want to. Oh my gosh. I need a moderator. Uh, I've missed a lot of these questions, but maybe it's been that. Keep going. Oh, I love you guys. Oh my god. I'm sweating. I'm so hyped about this. I'm sweating. And also, can I just say, thank you for being here. I I am so uh, just still grasping that there's people who want to chat and hang out. By the way, uh, which I should mention, I am on Cameo and I have been doing a bunch of videos and I actually really enjoy it. I, I give my deepest and most authentic, genuine response in there. And um, yeah, I'm actually, I think I'm going to put a discount on it because I just want to encourage people to come and talk to me and it could just be about advice doesn't even have to be about big brother let me be your big sis and or if there's something i can um a piece of advice or you need a motivational message or you want me to say happy birthday to someone you want me to vibe out with you we can do a dance together um or i'll dance for you oh that sounds weird anyway you know what i'm saying i am on cameo so if you'd like to support me in that way i would love it also um okay Let's go with more questions. Oh my God, how much? I'm going to watch this back and be like, damn, bitch, you ADHD. Uh, but I own it. I own it. I hope anyone else out there with ADHD feels seen because uh, I'm here. Hello, representing. Um, let's see. Are you and Tucker still together? Yeah, you guys. Yeah, that's all. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of these questions. What brown foundation do I use? <laughs> I love this. This is for the girlies. Sorry if the guys are here. No, actually, wait. No, I'm not sorry. Girlies, let me put you on. Um, here, let me get it. Right now, oh, I've been using this shit's the bomb. It's Urban Decay's their newest foundation. I've been I use this in the house as well. It's called Face Bond, and um, let let it speak for itself. Yeah, I'm 35. Also, but skincare skincare is a big deal too. You got to take care of your skin. You know what I mean? But I use Urban Decay Face Bond right now. Um. Let's see. What else questions? What's all oh, somebody said? What song do you turn to for my inner child? What song do you turn to for healing your inner child? Ooh, healing my inner child. Oh, man, there's a lot. Like, <clears throat> this is going to, I'm going to get shit for this, but it's just the cheesy, cheesy songs. Like Mariah Carey, 
um, Fantasy. Wait, which is the song that's on Russia? Oh, when you walk by every night, talking sweet and looking fine, I get kind of hectic inside. That, for whatever reason, makes reminds me of when I was a kid. Well, not for whatever reason. I lived through that. That song brings me so much joy, and it makes me, even though I'm a child, I don't know why I'm singing that song, but it makes me happy. Love it. Um, oh, somebody asked about blush. Let me put you on also. Oh my gosh, I feel like an influencer. Um, <laughs> this is the blush palette I use. I didn't even have this in the house. I'm sad. But the blush I was using in there was Rare Beauty. I don't know what happened. I have a lot of makeup and I literally brought none of it. I don't know what I It's so hard to pack for Big Brother. But this is the Patrick Ta palette. I don't know what it's called. Major Headlines Blush Palette Volume 2. This I uh, love obsessed. And it. that's all that's on my cheek right now. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's move on. Curl tutorial. Oh my gosh, you guys are giving me so much ideas for content. Okay, don't worry. I Cam just sang that Mariah Kong. Mariah Kong? Oh my god. 88. That's when your brain moves, your mouth moves faster than your brain. Cam did, I gotta, oh my gosh, I gotta go on his page. See, me and Cam, the Cambina content is coming because we're just aligned already, okay? Um, let's see, what else, guys? 13 more minutes, and then I think I'll have to do this again. Or I'll answer some questions on my stories. And then I think I'll answer some of the crazier questions in subscriptions. Because there are some crazy questions in here. Let's, uh, but I, I am willing to answer a lot of them. But I think I'm going to put it under subscriptions just for my main peeps. My main, main, main peeps. Um, oh my gosh, one of the questions. Are you over people asking about you and Tucker already? <laughs> I just got out of the house. I can't be over it. I'm, how could I be over it when I'm barely understanding it, you know? I'm I'm shocked that there's a Tubina, first of all, our showman's name, and then that there are Tubina stan accounts, people making our story look so different than how I saw it. I mean, obviously, I think I just didn't even see it the way that y'all got to see it because, I mean, I feel like I'm watching a rom-com. It's really... I don't know. My younger self is screaming for sure. She's like, what? Me? Cool. Uh, what was your favorite song y'all created in the house? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to sing it right now. Ready? Oh, I don't have a cat. It's my sister's cat. But I'm going to sing the song that I loved in the house. And the reason, you know, you can't sing in the house, but we made up our own songs to uh, hack. It was, a, it was a life hack. It was a BB hack. So remember the good times that we had. Remember the love and the food and the laughs. Remember the chilling in the bed in the Big Brother house. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, that one made me happy. And then I made a couple different verses. I'm sure you might have seen. Maybe. Uh, I'm not over Takina. I thought it was going to be Takina. And then y'all were like Tubina when I came out. So I, I, Takina just sounded, we made a dance. Takina, 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 Takina. And it sounded like tequila, which Tucker and I both enjoy. So that was the reasoning for that. But Tubina is cool. You know why I like Tubina? <laughs> Guess how many of my letters are in that? Most of them. So <laughs> that's that Leo energy coming out. I like that. It's mostly my letters. He got a T-U, but the Bina, that's for me. And y'all is welcome. Just kidding. I, I'm grateful. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, Tubina was a thing since day one. Well, that's news to me. I didn't know. Oh, uh, okay. Let's keep going. Questions. I'm just going to scroll and then tap. Which time on the block did you feel the most safe? Girl, oh my God. Six times I was on the block, right? Six? Six. The time I felt safest was sadly when I was up against Angela. Only because I was like, okay, it's now or never for these people. They don't, if, they, if we don't get around now, and, and, you know, nothing to her, but she could win. We knew if she went all the way to the end, L Loki, I might have voted for her because that is impressive to make it all the way to the end given day four. Um, so I felt like, okay, there's no way they're going to flip if it's me and Angela. And so that was the fifth time I think I was on the block. <laughs> I think. Yeah. So against Angela was the time I was like, you know what? I think I'm staying. And final five, baby! I, first of all, me making it to final four? I'm just as shocked as you are. Maybe you're not shocked. I'm not trying to not give myself credit, but how difficult it was, how much I struggled, I, I, I'm so lucky. I really mean it, damn. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be and everything works out for me because being in Final Four is, uh, I have to give myself some credit for that because that's a big deal. Especially in the Big Brother house, you know? 
Um, let's see. Oh, let's, what are the, how do you stay bubbly all the time? Where do you find the energy? That's a great question. And if you have any interest in me an answering, um, two things. One, I never started drinking coffee. Okay. I really, uh, I'm grateful for that because I think that would have depleted my energy. I know that there's some science backing that it actually, I can't remember what it removes, but it definitely doesn't add. And then you become dependent on it. So I never started drinking coffee. I always say, I am coffee. Whatever is in coffee is in me. So I never started drinking and I think I was just, I'm able to replenish my energy on my own. Also, I can't say that this is scientifically true, but I'm, I'm a small human, meaning I, I'm a smaller battery. It doesn't take much for me to recharge. And also the reason I think I am so bubbly and positive is that, hello, I've been through shit. Once you hit the bottom and you know there's nowhere to go but up, it's really easy to shift your perspective on life and realize like everything is amazing. And at the same time, nothing is a big deal. It's like, it's a dichotomy of being in such gratitude just for being alive, for walking, breathing, seeing, eating, experiencing. And and on the flip side of that, understanding that, um, you know, we're only here once, as far as we know. And I refuse to let uh, anything or anyone take my peace or my joy. The way that I win, not, in the, not just in the Big Brother house, but in general, is if I stay me. Even with people, oh, my whole life, people have been like, you need to calm down. Like the dimming my light shit. My whole life, people have told me, oh my gosh, I cannot express to you enough. But once I finally understood that, hello, uh, you're lucky that I have so much light. Okay. And um, the people who get it, get it and, and understand it. But I had to appreciate it in myself and let it fully uh let it fully be expressed without feeling apologetic about it. So I feel, um, yeah, I have been called toxic positivity a lot of times because they're like, there's no way she's that happy. It's not even like I'm faking it. I choose. It is a decision every day to be a happy person who is grateful. I mean, I'm, I'm gratitude is my biggest, my biggest reason that i stay up is that i have so many things to be grateful for what the hell i don't even have a car i don't have my own place i'm not married i don't have kids all the things that society tells me i need to be happy actually i don't i could be in a cardboard box and with some water and i'd be grateful to have that so you know i think it just really comes from a real place it's that i feel lucky to be here i feel lucky to be me and i'm just happy to exist like, truly, I'm just happy I'm here and being me. Um, so, yeah. It's not toxic positivity when it comes from a real place. And the reason I say it's not toxic positivity is that I've been through shit. So it's not that I think it's unicorns and rainbows and butterflies. It's that I know that there's so much darkness. You know, I've lost my mom. I've been through that shit was hard. I've been blamed for what happened to my mom and and you know i've i'm open about all things i've made a lot of mistakes and i think i only believe in lessons or blessings okay lessons or blessings only you if you don't you either win some or you learn some period and that is a choice that you make that's it and so once i decided that um that's where the positivity comes from i'm not what you can't you can't take my light you can't take my joy um that's how you win you know um fa okay we have like six more minutes this is such a long live holy moly thank you for being here i appreciate it so much when am i skating again oh my god i need to skate again soon guys i'm worried that i don't have it i hope i didn't lose it if you don't use it you might lose it and i hope i didn't i i, I will i'll probably go live the next time that i skate what do you think about that um maybe i should have a skate meetup y'all want to skate with me let me practice first <laughs> um i'll probably eat shit doesn't matter the point is about roller skating. Ah, oh, that's another thing that really, truly helped me realize a lot of things like fall down seven times, get up eight. Like that was a literal lesson I learned was I fell so many times in skating and the only reason I didn't fail is because I didn't quit. So yeah, I love, oh my God, I miss roller skating and it just makes me feel free and I listen to music and I vibe out and see me. What is this? A television show for ants? <laughs> that's a Zoolander reference. I'm so old. But I'm grateful. I love being old. Um, 
There's a new skating show. Yes, I saw it. It's called Roller Jam. I know a lot of a bunch of the skaters that are on there could not be me on that show. I'm not that good. Those people are amazing. They are so talented. Um, but big respect. If you've never roller skated before, roller skated, not rollerblade. Roller skating is a whole other thing. Um, yeah, it is so hard. And I give so much respect for people who roller skate and can do things because it's harder than it looks. It's a full body workout. Mind, body, soul workout. Uh, let's see. What else do? Oh, four more minutes. Okay. I'm going to take a minute. I feel like I've been talking nonstop, which I have been. And I haven't even been able to read the comments. But yeah, I definitely want to vlog again. I'm just going to read them as I go. I am such, I love vlogging. There's not a day that goes by that I don't record a video. So I definitely want to vlog again if you guys are interested in that kind of content. Actually, what kind of content do you guys want to see? Hello? Let's have a conversation now. Um, and also, there were hundreds of more questions. I definitely want to answer more specifically, but I just want to give a little sample, a little sample, if you will. Um, and then I hope you all subscribe. Um, I'm going to do subscriptions for sure. And you'll get the real Rubina on there. Not that you're not getting the real one now, but like all of it, like from A to Z, alpha to omega. Why did I make it that deep? Um, everything, you guys, what are you interested in? Everything, YouTube, ooh, ah, I love YouTube, but it's so, it's so much work. Maybe I'll get an editor. Vlogs again, I love a vlog. I'm a vlog girl for sure. Cambina content, okay, that's coming. Day in the life, okay, love it. Love, love everything you're suggesting. Gosh, would it save the comments? I really want it to save the comments. I don't know if it will. It probably won't, huh? Just answer some Tubina questions. Okay, I'll end this live with one Tubina question. Ask a Tubina question right now, and that's how I'm going to end this live. Because Tubina's a part of me now. And, uh, yeah, I just, Tucker, I did not know he would be rooting for me so hard once he left, or that he would even watch it all. And um, I used to say, before I was in, you know, get like before I'd be in a relationship again, I want the person I'm with to be my biggest cheerleader other than me being my biggest cheerleader and um be obsessed with me and because why not and i really feel like tucker is so i feel like ah, you know ah. uh favorite thing about tucker or what's your status with tucker oh, there's so many questions here mm. favorite thing about tucker oh favorite thing about tucker oh i think i said this in an exit interview it's just how he's so unapologetically himself like i am unapologetic of myself but he's on another level and um i think it's rare i think to see that in someone else and i feel like i've always been a big pusher of people being unapologetic that to meet someone who actually is without me saying or pushing them to be is so attractive and it's um one of the most attractive things about him and yeah our energy is just not on paper. On paper, I know everyone's like, that doesn't make sense. But energetically, I think it does make sense. So, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot more questions, but it's been an hour. I love you all so much. Gonzo, I see you. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm definitely going to go live again. Maybe I'll answer more questions. I didn't let me put them up here. Maybe we can have it more official. But subscriptions are coming. Find me on Cameo, y'all. Whatever you need. Advice, a birthday shout out. Um, even just a chat as gals or gays, theys, whatever um and yeah thank you so much for even joining me i appreciate your time and your effort and your energy energy is the real currency and you giving me your time it means so much to me i love you all so so much i'm gonna save the live don't worry and um oh my gosh the tubina sands i love you the rubina sands i love you even more uh thank you for watching and supporting this summer i'm gonna go watch at some point we'll see but i lived it so why do i need to i don't know um, love you all. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Happy Friday. Oh, and I can't wait. I'm dressing up as Maleficent. So stay tuned for that. I'm dressing up as Maleficent today. And on that note, I had 666 viewers. Right hey guys, it's a Shirley Temple cake.